is Sis Trelawney coming to you on this new moon on August 30th to talk, to elaborate on a post um, that I recently uh, discussed on my Insta story about letting go or being dragged. And so I wanted to come over here to YouTube to break it down a little bit more in terms of what that specifically has been meaning for me, even down to today and what I've been having to let go um, to let go of. And especially with this new moon energy, this is the perfect time to do it. So hopefully you gain some value from it. Again, I want to first um, talk about rituals a little bit, because um, I know especially nowadays when it comes to moons, um, the full moon and the new moon, we um, in the spiritual community like to have rituals and uh, practices around that to um, really bring meaning, manifestations about. Um, but first of all, I always say like I want to make the first point, but this is the first first point, point 1A, <laughs> that... The new moon and the full moon aren't the only, I mean, it's so many meanings in between that. I mean, we have first quarter, last quarter, waning, waxing, gibbous, and crescents. Like, all of them have so many potentials and meanings. So, don't just rely on full moons and new moons either. And don't just rely on what other people tell you what they mean. Like, develop your own, like, fill it out for yourself and see, like, what kind of patterns does that show up for you. Um, that's number one. Number two um when we think about rituals and stuff like that like i know we tend to go to books and different people to see like what they're doing it's totally cool to draw inspiration from other people but a ritual is basically you following what feels good and what feels right for you and you just continuously showing up for that so whether you're doing it regularly or you're doing it um at a certain interval so maybe like every new moon you do this thing or maybe every sunday you do this thing or just whenever you're going through this feeling you do this Dude, thing like this just popped up for me like this nature walk i was like yeah this has become like a ritual i've been doing this shit like every fucking morning so whether you're doing it regularly or you're doing it um at a certain interval so maybe like every new moon you do this thing or maybe every sunday you do this thing or just whenever you're going through this feeling you do this thing whatever it is you know what i'm saying so like even me going on my nature walks like mostly every morning um when i wake up you know i do my hygiene get dressed and i go on my nature walk that's the so the new moon and i'm not sure if that's because it kind of intersects with the time of my my period um like i'm usually doing beginning of the month like i'm on the second and the third so i'm kind of pmsing and stuff I'm not sure if it has a lot to do with that, but I am in a cycle now. Like, new moons give me the energy of letting stuff go, just letting it go. And so what first came up for me was, so I'm in the middle of separating for my marriage. And one of the disagreements, I'm not going to say conflict, one of the disagreements we've been having was, like, over the house that we own together. And so something came up for me over and over. But this particular time, I decided to just let it go. The other thing that came up, so I know a lot of times when we say like, usually full moons are dedicated as a time to embrace, to manifest, to request, to set intentions, and and new moons are a time to release, to let go, to relax, and all of these things, right? But when we usually hear that, I know I hear a lot of women talking about like listing all of these things, and it's so much, and I mean, I feel like if that's on your heart to do, if that's on your spirit to do, then yay, like, get it all out, do that. But if it feels forced, which for me, it was at a point, like, I was feeling like I had to come up with all of these things that I needed to say, that I needed to do as if it was, like, my last opportunity to do it, when it's not, like, the new moon ain't my only opportunity to do it, and this particular new moon ain't the only one, you know what I'm saying? So, you got boohoo opportunities to do it, so don't let... You know what I'm saying? That feeling like if, if only one thing show up, that's even better. That's even better because you can, all of those energies can come to that one thing. And then today swung around it, baby. So, <laughs> um, one thing that I haven't really wanted to do was get bites for me and my children. So, I got the kids, one, cool. Today came around, I found a really good deal. Um, for me to get mine. So I drove me and my pack my son in the car because I know I got to take the front wheel off. He's really much more efficient than I am at that um, to let it fit in the car and drive home. So anyways, we're on the way to go get the bike and I get into a car accident. I run into the back of somebody else. Fortunately, it wasn't a serious accident by no means, but it was just like, that's the last thing I needed today. The last thing I needed today, but it was like almost, it like lit instantly once i did it i was like i let it go 
Like, don't be, you know, it didn't happen. Let it go. Don't, or, or be dragged. You know what I'm saying? I can just go with the motions, step by step, do what needs to be taken care of, and let it go. Or I can hold on to this and think of everything I should have, could have, would have, and let it drag me, drag my day down, drag my mood down, my week down, whatever. But nah. And then, so that ain't even it. <laughs> so, I, um, get get to that particular house. That bike didn't even fit. Like, I don't know why this man did not post that that was a child's bike. It didn't look like a child's bike in a picture. He didn't say that it was. So that was a waste of time, waste of gas, waste of a 47-minute ride. But whatever. It's, let it go. <laughs> Found another one that was even least lesser expensive. But further away. So that was an hour drive. So when I did go get that one or whatever. Oh, that was just such a blessing to my heart. Like when I got there, she gave me, in addition to the bike, she gave me like this big old bag of fruit. She said she had her own garden and she was looking for somebody to give the extra to. And we call it lanyard in New Orleans. So it's like if you go for one thing and you get some extra, it's lanyard. So it's just like, oh, thank you so much. So I got this big bag paper bag full of like zucchini squash tomatoes onions green beans just oh that was such a blessing however i get home and i go to run because i'm so excited i go to ride my bike right and the chain pop and that was my first thought like i mean i rode like about a mile away from the house and then it just went pop and i was like i'll be damned and then that thought came to mind let it go i was like i Got off the pick up my chain, got off my bike, and walked the bike on back home. So a lot of times that's what letting go look like a two. It's in the moment. It's not just in retrospect. Like we think back to things that we've been going through, that we went through, and just like I'm gonna let that go. Sometimes it's moment by moment, and just having the the willpower because it takes strength to do that to let something like that go because it's easy and it's it's our norm. It's our default to hold on to those things and just and, and if we do I don't I'm not saying like something is wrong with that like we 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 have fault for that because I'm pretty sure I mean everything ain't gonna be that easy to just let it go but as much as we can it is to our benefit to do so so that when things do happen to knock us off our kilter we ain't so thrown off balance you know so that's all I wanted to share today it's a bumblebee flying around my head, so I'm about to go inside. <laughs>